In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a withdrawal address to your Bybit account. And then I'll show you how to withdraw your coins off of the Bybit exchange. If you appreciate this kind of content, don't forget to leave it a like and hit subscribe. I have plenty more Bybit tutorials on my channel, as well as a complete step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. And I'll leave a link for those videos in the description of this one down below. Let's get into it. To withdraw your coins to another wallet or to another exchange, just simply come up here in the top right hand side of the screen and hover over assets. From this drop down menu, click on spot. On this page here, you'll notice that there's a withdraw button on the right hand side under action for each individual cryptocurrency. There's also a withdraw button just up here at the top. Note that you will have to have your cryptocurrency in your spot wallet in order to withdraw it to another wallet address or another exchange. If your coins are in your derivatives account, you'll have to transfer them over. If you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial for that, and I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video down below. So option number one is to use the withdraw button beside the cryptocurrency that you wish to withdraw, or come up here, click on withdraw. You'll get a little pop-up window here, and if you click where it says BTC, you can select the crypto that you wish to withdraw from this drop-down menu. And I'll just go ahead and leave that on BTC. If this is your first time withdrawing coins from Bybit, you're going to have to add a wallet address. So we can come right here where it says add, give that a click. And this will bring you over to a page where you can add a withdrawal address. To add a withdrawal address, we'll come over here on the right hand side and we'll click on add. Bybit will give us a little pop-up window. And this is where we can put in the address that we wish to send our coins to. So first things first, we want to choose an asset. So right here, you can see I'm set to Bitcoin, but if we give that a click, becomes a drop down menu and you can select whatever cryptocurrency you want from this drop down menu here. For this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and stick to BTC. In this box here, I'm going to paste in the Bitcoin address that I wish to send my Bitcoin to. Of course, make sure you put the right address in for the right coin. You wouldn't want to put an Ethereum address here or anything else. Otherwise, you would lose your coins forever. I'm sure the type of person watching this video is aware of that, but if this is your first time going through this process, just be aware you want the right coin going to the right address or you'll lose your coins forever. We don't want to have any boo-boos here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in my Bitcoin address. Of course, if there's an option, make sure that you select the right chain type, in this case here, BTC to BTC. But if you're doing a different altcoin or tether, make sure that the chain type matches where you're sending your coins to. You can add a remark like so. I'll just do something like this. And then once you have this set the way that you want it, click on confirm. And now you can see we've added a Bitcoin address under asset. And you can see that we named it Coinbase because I typed that into the remark box. Take note at the top here, it says withdrawals are unavailable for newly saved addresses for 24 hours. So don't panic if you don't get your coins right away. Now that we're ready to proceed with our withdrawal, we'll come over here on the right hand side. We'll click on back to my assets. Now we'll come over here in the top left hand side and we'll click on spot. And back to the right hand side of the screen like a game of ping pong over here. And we'll click on withdraw and we'll get our withdraw pop-up window here again. You'll see that it's currently set to Bitcoin, which is good for me because I'm going to be sending Bitcoin off of Bybit to another address. But if it was a different wallet address that you added for a different coin, just give this a click, select the coin that you wish to withdraw. And then down below where it says wallet address, click on that box. And here's where you'll find the address that you just added. So we'll go ahead and give that a click. Now I'll be sending my Bitcoin from Bybit into this deposit address on another exchange. Next, you'll want to choose the chain type, so in my case here, BTC to BTC. But if you were sending an altcoin or tether, just make sure you select the right chain type. Once again, you don't want to have any boo-boos here. Then down below that, we'll choose the amount that we wish to send. You can see your balance right up above here. So you can put in a custom amount, or you could just simply click on all. Down below, you'll be able to see your transaction fee right here. If all of this looks good, you just simply click on submit. Now you'll need to confirm your withdraw by getting a code sent to your email. So you'll just have to click right here to get your code. And you'll also have to punch in your Google two-factor authentication. So if you haven't set up G2FA on your Bybit account just yet, feel free to check out my video on how to get that done. I'll leave it linked for you in the description down below. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get code. Then you'll need to sign into your email. That's where you're going to find your first verification code and then punch it in. And then we'll do the Google two-factor authentication. Then simply click submit. 
then you'll be prompted that your withdrawal application has been submitted. Remember, if this is your first time adding a withdrawal address, it could take up to 24 hours on your first withdrawal. And there you have it. That's how you add a withdrawal address and withdraw your coins off the Bybit exchange. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe and check out some of my other Bybit tutorials. Thanks so much for popping by. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day. Thank you.